Hi everyone and welcome back to Coffee with My Sunshine. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by. In today's video, I wanted to show you another section of our DIY kitchen that we've been working on and it's the coffee bar. I'm so glad we finally finished it. I also wanted to show you this really cool refrigerator that we just received that I'm loving. And also I wanted to throw in this um, really unique kind of DIY. It's a floating coffee mug. So if you'd like to see this, please keep watching. So this is the cute little mini fridge I was talking about that the company New Air sent me. This isn't sponsored. They just wanted an honest review of their new mini fridge. I love this little logo on the front that says buy Pepsi Cola today. It also has this retro type design on the top. It's, it's actually called Pepsi and Pete Vintage Edition. And I'll be showing you more in the video, but it holds 126 cans or bottles in on the adjustable shelves, which I found helpful when I was loading this. You will see that shortly. It also has temperature control and this really pretty light that you can turn on. And I will show you that more as we go, as we put it together in our coffee bar. So let's get on to building the coffee bar. If you've seen my other um, kitchen renovation videos, you will know that my husband and I and my, uh, my parents and my in-laws have all kind of been building this kitchen from scratch. And my husband has been building all of the cabinets and painting them and really, really working hard to get this kitchen finished. It's been a long project, but it's coming together beautifully. I'm loving it. And here's where we are going to be putting the, um, the coffee bar. We have the wall painted chalkboard and we took off the molding, you know, right there at the bottom so that we could fit in the cabinets. And we're not going to completely lock them in right, right now. And here my hubby's just making sure everything's so level before we mm -hmm. attach the countertop. My husband and my son actually worked on this and we used some old barn wood from uh, my parents' house and my husband just sanded it down, glued them all together and then my son did the finish sanding on it. Like I said, Pretty much this kitchen is done from scratch. That's the only way we could have done it and been able to afford it. And here's the finished top. I think it's just beautiful. We were thinking of doing a concrete countertop, but I'm actually kind of falling in love with our temporary counter. <laughs> we've actually had this refrigerator plugged in and we've been using it for about a month or so and love it, love it, love it but it's just the perfect size and we can raise it up to meet the level of the cabinets as well. And like I said, the shelves are adjustable. I needed to move one down just to fit it, the root beer bottles in. And since we're going to be um, having the coffee pot and stuff over here, we're going to put our creamer and you know stuff we need for our coffee in the refrigerator too. So it's easy to get to. So here's what I have in the refrigerator so far. It's nowhere near full. It's just what we had. And you can see there's still a ton of room and I just love the pretty light. It's like a bluish, it's, it's really nice. And now we're just going to put some stuff on our coffee bar and it's not going to be fully decorated or anything. It's just the stuff we're moving over from our other countertop just to free up some of the space over there. 
and I'll be able to decorate this for different holidays and like do cocoa bars and stuff. I'm so excited. So after waiting patiently for this coffee bar, it's finally finished, mostly. <laughs> And I think the vintage refrigerator looks super cute over there, especially with the little light on. And this is what it looks like at night. I just, I think it's going to be perfect there. And now on to our floating coffee mug DIY. For this, you're going to need a little um, plate. This one is from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need a hot glue gun. A mug this is also from the Dollar Tree a fork you'll probably want a cheaper fork something that's a, it's easier for you to bend or you could use some sort of cable something that's stiff but um, something that you can bend by hand also Gorilla Glue this is necessary um, because I tried it with just the hot glue and it does not hold and you're going to need some flowers Originally, I thought I wanted to use coffee beans. I thought that would look cute pouring out of the coffee mug, but I didn't have any. So we're just going to go with flowers right now. Um, you're going to bend the fork, and I tried to make the prongs flat so that they would be flat against the plate, but this fork is a little bit hard to bend. And you're going to want to, when you glue it, you're going to want to place the fork a little bit to the front of the plate because I did it in the center at first and put it after I put the coffee mug on it, it kind of made the plate tip. So then you're going to want to see where you're going to bend the top by placing the coffee mug on there. And you're going to bend it as well as you can. Be very careful. You're going to want to look, make it look like this so that it's flat on the plate and also kind of flat in the coffee mug. You want the coffee mug tilted just a little bit to look like it's pouring out. Here you're just going to take the glue and this is where I suggest you use either E6000, which I haven't tried yet on this project, but um, or the Gorilla Glue and follow the instructions so that it holds really, really well. But here, I just used the hot glue gun and I did use a ton of the glue and it held for a while, but um, the hot glue does not hold it permanently. So I definitely recommend if you want this to be a permanent decor piece to use the more heavy duty glue. And you're going to want to put a good amount and wait until it's completely dry. And then you're going to take the glue and you'll want to use the heavy duty either Gorilla Glue or E6000 on the mug as well. And you're going to want to glue it on like this. Make sure the handle is at the top. Or I guess the side if you want it to look like that. And then this is what it looks like. Just kind of hovering all on its own. And I added more hot glue just to make sure it was secure, but like I said, it didn't hold with just hot glue. Unless you had a plastic mug or something more lightweight, it may have held. But here, you don't have to use the heavy-duty glue to glue the floral pieces on. You can go ahead and use the hot glue. So you're just going to want to add your flowers or greenery, whatever you're using. Like I said, I wanted to use coffee beans, but I didn't have them, but that would be cute as well. And you just want to work your way down the fork and make sure you're covering, you know, the, all of the fork because you don't want it to be seen. 
Like I said, you could also use a heavy duty wire or cable in place of the fork, but this seemed to work really well. And I will um, link the, I think it was on Pinterest that I saw it, I can't remember, but I will link it below where I got the inspiration for this. And you're just going to start putting your flowers, like I said, all the way down the fork, and then you're going to want to um, cover the plate, kind of like it's spilling out. And this is what it looks like all finished. I think it's super cute. It looks like the mug is just pouring out the flowers. And I think this will be a perfect addition to our new coffee bar. So thanks so much for watching guys. I will have a coupon code listed in the description box for the refrigerator if you guys are interested in ordering one. And here's another final look at our new coffee bar, which I'm in love with. And I will um, show you more of our kitchen as we get it finished. And if you're interested in seeing um, some more of how my husband makes these cabinets, I can do a video on that as we go along. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.